Good tight man-to-man -man defense by Alabama. Oh, what, what a split of a ball screen. Look out now. Right? Like Two-hand check, like double-hand check. But the game is so different nowadays in the sense that they're trying to take that away. And it does give the advantage to the offense. Good Fine. look from Anthony and Brooks puts it home. Uh, it really is remarkable. This is the worst season for North Carolina basketball since all the way back in 2001, 2002, back when Matt Doherty was the head coach. Garrison. And the putback is good. It looked like Hannah was in there. <laughs> it looked like hand-to-hand -hand combat in there. Somebody got tossed. Surprised there was no whistle, but another. Second half. That's when Duke was able to make that run because they had a lineup in that could really spread the floor, then they could drive the ball. That's that's like a big kazoo. You know what I mean? It's terrible. Sounds like a swarm of bees. Oh, big ones. Couldn't be a whistle though. Brooke, that was a great feed from Anthony. Play from the Eagles is paramount because they get so little from the interior. North Carolina, three of their last 20 field goals. They have not made a basket in nearly four minutes. Trying to change that on this three. And they do! Yes, yes. Alphabetically, shouldn't it be called Dermot? No, no, I'm comfortable with Pac-Man I'm it's not. His, it's his basement. I've got nothing to do with that. Here's Brooks. And his goals with a six-point lead. Nice play. play. Beautiful play. Oh. All right, Cole Anthony to inbound. Good screen. Yeah. Wow, and a throw down. And of course, whenever you get an opportunity to watch Mike Gray offense, that is great TV. My, one of my favorites when you talk about drawing up plays, allowing his guys to play free. Like Garrison Brooks has got Perry can't finish, got it back, stripped away. Got to go up with it right away. Now look at Anthony dribble his way out of trouble. Perry giving chase. Good pass. Keeler, yes! Especially when you consider the fact that it's a much smaller lineup that they're playing against. Anthony flips it cross court out of a double team for Robinson's first shot of the tunnel. Down to the post against Hurt, trying to exploit that matchup. He's got a call for the ball. Double team on Anthony, the kick to Black. Black for three. Boy, we can... Yeah, whether they're the 14 or the 11 in the ACC tournament, which will be determined by the outcome tonight. They're not your typical 14 or 11. And again, to make the NCAA tournament, obviously, they're going to have to win the eight turnover for Wake Forest. Cole Anthony didn't hit a three in the first meeting, hit three of them in the first half. And that is his snarled traffic, as is customary in the Triangle region on workday afternoon. It's been a little quiet right now. That was a good look from Anthony Brooks. Finishes it all. Like the old man right there. That was really pretty. I mean, he took it away from the defense. I they can't get a stop. Yeah, Brooks is going. I mean, and, uh, who, who am I missing? Ernie Davis? Ernie Davis, the Heisman Trophy. In the day, a team that's getting along very well. And really, they haven't had a chance to gel because there's been so many injuries as Keelan is able to turn the corner. He's going to have success. Brandon Robinson has been dealing with that sore ankles return to Roy Williams' team. Healing. Buckets. Roy Williams has four McDonald's All-Americans coming in next year. Five in the top 100. Williams came back as the head coach. And they run up 8-20 and 20 that year. Out shot. Now Cole Anthony starting the second half with Leaky Black, Armando Baycott, Garrison Brooks, and Christian Keeling. Here's Baycott. Well done. No... Inside. Clark cutting. Inside. Good hands. Fake cut. Here's Anthony. Cole Anthony, the hesitation. And now the feed to Brooks. Brooks, jumper. Got it. On oh. the transfer. Clark. One in and out. Fake cut the rebound. And Cole Anthony. Anthony on the move. Kick back. Keeling. And that two rattles. Jones Colbert. And again, very few second chances for Duke on the glass. Carolina has been very solid defensively. Nice pass. Brooks. The assist. Well, they got a point to point B and Cardi, one of the top three recruiting classes in the country. Nice barter.
in his one year there and average nine points per game. Largest lead of the night for Florida State. Well, they're starting to play well right now. Florida State. Keely yeah. finally handle it cleanly. What kind of screening set setup is that for Baycott? That's no angle. They get it to Baycott and he takes it to the right. Anthony, top five incoming recruit, the leading freshman scorer in the country. 34 points in his debut against Notre Dame. Leaky Black will knock down a The court area has gone back to the locker room. It looked like he rolled his left ankle. We don't have any update on the severity or whether or not he will return. So Roy Williams is going to a very big guy, Jay, but a guy who doesn't play a whole lot. Yeah, not the most mobile big guy, but he does take up a lot of space. Nice weight guards, including Teddy Smith's with the house. Kenny Anderson and went to Georgia Tech. Here's Anthony now and inside and Garrison Brooks. Carolina the other way, tied at 30. You know what I love about Herb Jones? A missed shot does nothing to what he does on the other end of the floor. And there's Brandon. I knew that was going to happen. Play Tech on the drive and a <laughs> And there's a miss from McIntosh and a rebound from Anthony. Carolina. Against Elon tonight, deep into the shot clock with four on it. Sheffield rattled it off the backboard. Anthony, three on one. Big shot to finish in the field. On the interior, it's going to open up opportunities for his teammates on the outside. Healing got a really nice look, but couldn't knock it down. Anthony, past three defenders and drops it off. Dufial got free. There was some grabbing behind him, no call. And now Keeling finishes. Paul oh, trying to answer. Off the mark. Pierce with the rebound. Playtech. The open three. Than respectable himself. He was terrific. He really was. Long. Your team, they look so good in. Brooklyn early in the year. Well, this is kind of overpowered. This has been in control, but Wake has had answers when they need to have answers. And then Good morning, and he said, listen, if we're going to go through reps and shoot, we're going to do it at a high level. We're already warmed up, so unless you're in here to do it at game speed and execute at game speed, you can go ahead and sit down. I mean, it was just great. He, you know, his intensity, I think, is really one of the green that lifted the entire defense. Great read by Childress to throw over the top. We got a little ball game here. Things have fun. This is really picked up here. About five minutes left. Anthony Black from the elbow. Third Syracuse turnover. But one of the things you can see early in this game, and I'm sure it's been a conversation between Roy Williams and Cole Anthony. Cole Anthony wants to push the tempo as Keeling is able. Back tap, a Carolina staple continues the possession. And Carolina snapping the basketball around the Carolina with separation again. This is kind of how the first half went. But then North Carolina allowed Syracuse to creep back into it. Keeling with another North Carolina as North Carolina State continues to roll offensive. That was Jared Cole Helms with another three. Leaky Black answers with the and Black with the offensive rebound. See if Anthony thought about firing the three pounds garrison brooks who got away with the travel against north carolina gets a bucket that's a physical move and it's a good job by, by everybody off the ball just staying out of the way healing that's his shot He's to get him from outside the lane to the other side of the rim tremendous 611 junior out of fort wayne indiana healing three look good and garrison brooks and brooks won the tip for the tar heels and they're very quickly on this year from ACL surgery, early last season, it cost him most of the year. He's a grad student now working on his MBA. Good job by Notre Dame to lift their offense and just take away the help on the last possession. Looks like he's on his way to yet another double-double. And this is the largest lead of the game for either team. Notre Dame by nine, Robinson. Six minutes, he's had the ball in his hands, 42 seconds. Again, just tells you about the game. It spins funny, but it goes in when he gets his feet set. Healing. 
Pumped a bit together. I was too busy teaching you how to shoot free throws. Well, you pay attention to that. Moved me from like 42% to 46%. No, I got you 58%. I'm telling you right now. Brooks gives off Anthony. Brooks wide open. And the jumper. The deficit for the Tar Heels is three. Anthony finds Brooks just beyond the free throw line. Do a lot for this team, which is taking him a little bit out of rhythm. But for North Carolina, when they get a miss, they've got to run. Had great success versus Duke. Getting out in the open floor, exploring transition. Anthony nifty feed there, and up and in it goes. Easy. And that's all effort from Wake Forest. So right back over to the Tar Heels. They caught. Here's Anthony. Killing with a jumper. Got a good look. He buries that. A two Very cautious. Put him on the bench to open up the second 20 minutes. Rebound punched out back to Anthony. Gilling wanting to shoot. He is their hot hander. They got to play fast. Got to look for some easy early ones. Gilling from three. Yes. He needs to knock shots down. Moore elevates. Leaves it short. And it's one and out for Duke. North Carolina not allowing any offensive boards. Healing again. Big time athlete. There's a lot of air underneath his shoes. And Duke creeping back into it. Brooks wide open. Gets the bounce. Again, that it is V week. And that the V Foundation has introduced the Stuart Scott Memorial Cancer Research Fund. And a great opportunity of furthering the injury today. He just got raked across the eye uh, trying to get a defensive rebound in the second half yesterday. But basically kind of a scratch that yeah. he's got to deal with. Robinson, smooth stroke. Round guys, Kobe White, Cameron Johnson, Nasir Little, not to mention Luke May, who's just a double-double waiting to happen. And new pieces, new roles, led by a star in Cole Anthony. Robinson wide open. There you go. This is what I call so far. You know what I'm saying? Like that I will go off that thing and just keep it going. Oh, I think it'll be a problem. That's I, my word. I, you take the GoPro because I want to see the footage of that. There's Carolina leading by 11. No, Louisville is the most likely next number one. You know who they play next week? Michigan. And you know how I feel about Michigan. Yeah. I like that team. Roy Williams happy, especially on the first possession when you go over the scouting report and know what Elon normally is going to do. But great execution by the Phoenix on the first play. The sophomore from Italy with a layup. The other and he recognizes he's got the size advantage over Keeling, who's guarding him, and feels like he can just get to his spot, whatever he wants to, and raise over top, knock it down. Ten points for Sheffield. <laughs> But Bobby Knight off? Yes, I am. <laughs> I gotta put Coach Williams on there. I tell you what, I love Roy Williams. Great person, had the opportunity to play for Coach Williams on the USA basketball team. Yeah. Consummate leaders. Trey Jones, a sophomore. I mean, just impressive to watch his command of the game. Dictates tempo and makes things happen. But we're watching Carolina, so let's get back to the The freshman from New York, Greg Anthony's son, and we'll put it in play for the Heels. Notre Dame opens in the man-to-man. -man. North Carolina, they like to start inside. They really want to play inside and then out. Brooks on the turn. We talked about that, mainly due to injury. But as you look at this Notre Dame team, they got very little contribution tonight from Juwan Durham. And I think that this is an... Good tight man-to-man -man defense by Alabama. Oh, what, what a split of a ball screen. Look out now. Yeah. Right.